Hello, I'm Nicola Bishop of Chaba Health and Fitness. Self-employed, fully professional fitness instructor. Okay, I'm working with these three videos. This is the first part of three 15 minute sessions uh, with Arthritis Support Leicestershire. Okay, so doing these uh, videos are obviously going to help you feel a bit fitter and healthier and done on a regular basis you will really see some improvements. So this first part, stretching, you can use before or after exercise uh, or both, okay, all going to help increase that range of movement, so adding more flexibility and strength to your body. So here we go. The way I do it, I will show you one example of the movement. So I will demonstrate it and then ask you to join with me. I will sometimes show you easier and harder, more progressive stretches. So join with me, four to six repetitions, depending on what we're doing. So demonstrating now, we start with the head mobility. We're going to bring our earlobe to our shoulder sitting up nice and tall, making sure our shoulders are back. We're going to breathe in and then dip our earlobe to the other shoulder. OK, so in that position, sitting on your tailbone, do it with me now four times. Let's go and breathing out, breathing in, out and in. That's it. Keeping Shoulders tucked back, lovely, lifting tall, don't worry if you're hearing creaks, but if you do at any point feel any tightness, just go a little easier because we have a lot of nerves in our neck. There's four repetitions. All right, just take a breath there while I show you the next one. We're going to rotate the neck now, so we're going to take our chin just over our shoulder and bring it back, breathing in on the return, breathing out on the twist. Okay, alternate sides, join with me now, and breathing out over that shoulder, back to the front, over to the other side, and back to the front. Make sure you're not slumping, we're lifting tall, breathing in, breathing out on that twist, Breathing in on the last two, really just try and reach your chin over your shoulder a little bit more, making sure your shoulders are back, you're st sitting nice and tall. Lovely. Okay, let's now just relax our arms down and bring our shoulders up to our ears and then slowly lower. Okay, with me and up and down, breathing in and down. Now with me, I want you to roll them back, up, rolling them back and breathing in, rolling them forward and up and back. Up we go and forwards. Okay, we can make that a bit bigger, hands on the shoulder. We're going to draw little circles with our elbows. Join with me and round, two, three and four. We're going to go the other way now. And we'll count down four, three, two and one. Smash in, just take a breath there through your nose and out your mouth. Okay, lovely. Press your fingertips into your lower back, the palm hands, really pressing into that lower back, squeezing the shoulders back and just slightly lift your chin, taking a breath in through your nose, out your mouth. Okay, let's do that again. Pulling shoulders back. Super, release those hands. Okay, we're going to come into prayer hands like we're going to go into a dive. Let me show you first. So we take our arms at shoulder level straight in front of us and we dip our chin and we're pushing forwards and opening up our shoulder blades. Okay, so join with me. Here we go. 
breathing out as we dive. That's it, still lifting tall, but we're curving the top of our back. So we're looking between our legs and then bringing it back in. Super, lovely. We're going to go for a side bend now. So we're going to drop that arm down. Now you can hold like a teapot, okay? Or if you want to go for the harder one, we do it as a C bend. Okay, join with me. We're going to do four down to this side. Hold on to the chair if you feel unbalanced, all right? Okay, taking a breath in. Nice and tall, lifting out of the rib cage. And there we go, down we go. Lifting nice and tall. Breathing out, two. Breathing in. Three. And four. Bringing the arm round just to rest. Lovely. Okay, we're doing the other side now. All right, if that's too much with the arm over, remember, you can hold like a teapot and hold onto the chair and just side bend. Okay, join with me, whatever level you wish to do. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And your last one. Lovely, bring the arm round. Now hold on to the back of the chair, okay? Take your hand and place it over your thigh. Now we're gonna lift up tall and we're twisting the whole rib cage now. So try and sit square with the legs and pull yourself round. So it's a bigger twist than what we did first. Okay, join with me. Hold on to the back of the chair, thigh, lift tall, breathe out on that twist, one. Okay, another one, the same side. And two. Breathing in on the return. Breathing out now. Three. On the return in. And four. Breathing out. Okay, lovely. Just make sure your shoulders have got no tension. Lifting tall. I'm sure you're doing brilliantly. Okay, hand on thigh. Hand on chair. And here we go, other side. Lovely. And breathing out. On the turn. Breathing in. Breathing out as we twist. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely. Square yourselves up. And again, just relax those shoulders back. And just make sure your neck is okay. Just moving it from side to side. And then lower down and up. All right, does that feel okay? We're gonna move on to the legs now, all right. So straighten out this leg for me. So your heels on the ground and your toes are flexed pointing back at you. Hands on top of each other on the other leg, all right. And we're going to lift up tall, pulling the shoulders back and we're just gonna look down at our knee. At the same time, we're pulling back the toes towards our shin. All right, so do that with me, lifting tall, shoulders back, and we're pulling our toes towards us as we lean our body weight over towards our knee. Okay, super, sliding that in. We're doing the same thing on the other side. So join with me, slide that leg out. Are we there? Super, heel dig it, flex that foot. Okay, and lifting tall, shoulders back. We're curving at the top part of our back as we look down at the knee. And back we go. All right, remember to breathe. <laughs> Take a breath in and breathe out as we bring our head down to look at our knee. And back up again. All right, super, let's bring that leg in. Okay, so now we're just going to stretch through the lower part. We're going to take the hands here if we can and lift it. This is the demonstration. Now, if you're struggling to actually lift and crunch like this, yeah, what you're going to do is just slide your foot underneath there, all right, and just place your hands on your thigh and crunch the upper body that way, all right? Okay, so choose which one you want to do. We're doing four on each side. 
So hands underneath, we're bringing it up, and we're just going to crunch one, two, three, breathing out on that crunch, and four. Now place it over to the side. All right, we're going to take the inside of our thigh with the palm of our hands. Lift in tall, make sure we're nicely centered and our feet are flat on the floor. And we're just going to push. So if you can see my foot, it's slightly lifting off on the inner part of the foot. It's all the weights going on the outside of my foot. So that's opening up these hips. OK, so I hope you're doing this with me now. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Now, you can obviously just use your own body weight to bring it in. If that's a trouble, bring your hands underneath and bring it in. Okay. All right. We're going to do that on the opposite side. So, hands cupped underneath the shin. Choose which one you want to do. One. Okay. Breathing out. Two. Three and four. Placing it out to the side. There we go. And lift and tall, shoulders back. Hands on the inside. And rotating that hip outwards. All right. All the weights now on the outside of our foot. Lovely. And four times. Then slide it back in or lift it back in. All right, we need to now do the ankles. There's two ways of doing it. I'll demonstrate quickly on one leg. You can lift it like as before, yeah, um, or lift it here and rotate. So I told a little bit of a fib. If you struggle to lift your leg, then there are the screen wipers here. So you can have your heel grounded um, or your toe like that so that you get a really good movement in that ankle area. All right, let's go together then. Choose which one you can do. So I'm going to lift my leg and place it over and rotate one, two, three, four. Other way, four, three, two, and one. And then I'm going to use my arms just to place it down. There we go. Other side. Lifting, you can always take your hand underneath that calf just to take the weight. We have heavy legs. Okay, lovely. Here we go. Rotating one, two, three, four, and the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Super. Again, you can put it down of your own weight or assist yourself. Lovely. OK, so I hope you're feeling a lot more flexible now. Um, as I shared, you can do this video before exercise. I would really recommend it because it gets the blood flowing into your muscles and you're stretching those joints in readiness for part two, which is the cardio. And uh, ideally, if you're going on and doing the third one where we're using resistance, um, for toning and strengthening the muscles and your joints, then I would recommend you do this stretch afterwards as well. Okay, lovely. Well, I look forward to seeing you in part two, the cardio. I'm Nicola Bishop of Chaba Health and Fitness. Thank you. Bye.